going back to another one of the books that you've written, uh, GSH, The Master Defender, uh, which is talks uh, in great length about glutathione itself. Right. And as we mentioned earlier, the fact that your body can make glutathione, uh, there are certain precursors and things that you might want to consider having, uh, knowing about first of all, and including some of those things in your diet, so that up to a certain point, your body will make glutathione. Because as you say, it is the master right. antioxidant that we have in our system. Can we talk a little bit about that? You know, that's correct. I mean, mm. taking a uh, uh, and acetylcysteine, mm -hmm. uh, a good whey protein mm -hmm. product, all of these things put the precursors into your body so that you're better able to synthesize mm -hmm. glutathione. And they have a whole host of very elegant studies showing that a greater intake of N acetylcysteine, a greater intake of whey protein, not only positively affects glutathione levels in both your blood and inside the cells, but and also decreasing incidence of most of the chronic degenerative diseases, a decrease in symptomatology, asthma, cancer, you name it. There's probably not a significant chronic de degenerative disease known to man in which if you have that disease, your body is still producing normal amounts of glutathione. Almost by definition, mm -hmm. if you have the disease, your glutathione levels are lower. Same with vitamin C. If you have the disease, your levels of reduced or active vitamin C are lower. So it's a real chicken egg thing. Sometimes you can't tell which came first, but you know if you get the antioxidant levels up by whatever mechanism, you're going to, at the very least, decrease symptomatology. And I think ultimately that's the goal of, of any conscientious doctor is to make his patient, number one, feel better. Mm -hmm. Number two, once they got them feeling better, to have them live a little longer. Mm -hmm. And if you make your patient feel better and live longer, I think you've done your, done your job as a physician. That is something that is it becomes <clears throat> increasingly more important uh, as our population ages. Absolutely. You don't only want to live longer but you want to be able to enjoy a quality of life. It's not just to live longer for the sake of living longer and be sick for the last 20 years Absolutely. of your life. Absolutely. That's, that's, nobody wants that. Whether they think they do or not, nobody wants longer life in the face of chronic pain and other dis disabling and debilitating symptoms. No.